opinion. So I'm going to say add a favorite, and this is going to be this is going to be two five seven one Willing Ford Drive, Beverly Hills nine zero two one zero, and this one's going to be client client two. They're a pretty they're a nice client over there. Okay, so then we're going to say let's add a trip and say so notice it's going back to my toyota for default because that's the primary but i used my ford this time and we're going to go from the office to client number two and it's going to be meeting with client round trip it round trip it boom so there we have it so now we've got that one showing up here and let's put it into the business side and then We'll say this is going to be business and I need a reason meeting with client. Okay. And then let's just add a couple personal ones in there just for the, just for the fun of it. I go to this, visit this other person that uh, lives in a, a, a cheap location in Beverly Hills, but they're cool anyways. So I go there sometimes. Let's say this is going to say, let's add a trip. And then we're gonna say that this is gonna be, uh, let's say this is going from our office, which is basically our home <laughs> office, to uh, to 623 North Rexford Drive. And that's only like a $7,500,000 place. So I, t I, don't, I take my second vehicle there so no one recognizes me. Well, I'm in that low class area. So I'm going to say that this is going to be the Ford and meeting with client or not a meeting with client because this is personal. This is personal stuff, charity, medical. Okay. So then when you got, when you, when you're on the personal side, you might track the personal stuff for more tax related items, like simply personal or charitable and medical are actually tax related items that could be on the schedule a so let's say it's charity we're we're visiting this uh this person that lives in this downtrodden seven million five hundred dollar home and we're doing some charity work over there or something and the reason that has to be separate is because charity work isn't going to be deductible on the schedule c but you might still want to track it because then you might be able to deduct it on the schedule a but the mileage rate isn't the same so i'm going to say track that the mileage rate isn't this 0.655 for mileage that might be deductible for like medical or for charity which could be possibly deductible on the schedule a so you might want to put that on the personal side so so you have that over here and you can say this is my other other stuff that i had miles for that possibly you can use a mileage rate, which would be different than the Schedule C mileage rate because it would be calculated for the Schedule A, which you would only be using if you were taking the itemized deductions rather than the standard deductions. So let's do one more on the personal side. Let's add another one and say this is starting point from the office. And then we did some more charity work over here at this, at this $1 million location. So this is going to be two, five, three, four, Ben, Benedict Canyon, Benedict Canyon and personal. And I'm going to say that that's going to be once again, charity, uh, which possibly we can track for a schedule a, or if it was medical, possibly you can track the miles for medical. But again, that has limitations on your taxes and it's different mileage rate. So I'm going to say, okay, boom. So now we can track that information over here. Super cool. So up top, this, this 2342 is based on the business miles because they're basically just multiplying it out. The mileage that we have now calculated for business to this. I have an unrecognized, let's add these to my personal side. This is for my personal and this is for the personal. Boom. Okay, so everything's allocated out now between business, personal, and all of the miles. Very nice. So that looks good. 
and but this is being calculated based on the business miles and it's just basically multiplying times that 0.655 i believe here's our total business miles and here's our total miles so obviously if you wanted to figure out the personal miles which we're just saying all the personal miles are for charity work that i might use for my schedule a you might give that to your tax preparer and say this is my schedule a charity miles and that comes out of course to 17 uh 16. so at the end of the year at the least you're gonna have to populate this information to give it to uh, a tax professional which you might do by just you know give them this information in a you know a, 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 an email or something or you can screenshot this information or you can basically hit the drop down here and you can go to download trips and this opens a csv file so it usually opens in excel for most people if you have excel but it's actually a csv file if you want to adjust this file in other words you need to save it as an excel file otherwise all the changes you make are not going to save it so you need to go like save file save as and i'll just dump it into my pictures folder because i don't have any actual pictures and i'm going to change it from a csv file to an excel worksheet there it is now i can play with it and adjust it in excel and uh, do what and and make it uh make it presentable so i'm gonna make it larger and let's uh let's just i'm gonna select all of these headers and just double click on them just to see what we have here and so here we have it so let's put the top one on embolden this uh let's just bold it and then let's add a table let's say i add a table that might make it easy to sort insert just a normal table not the whole not there on the whole thing insert the table there you go okay so there we have it and then i'll shorten the starting and ending addresses so we can see what's happening what's what's happening around here and boom now if this was all just business stuff you can just basically add the, the whole thing up i can add a totals row let's go to our tables and add a totals row and let's add a sum here so it's just summing up i'm just adding up these which adds up to 52.92 and this is the deduction so i can add this up summing this and boom that's just adding these up so that looks good however we've got some personal stuff here now if this was all business stuff that you could just basically do that but the fact that we have some personal means that i could do 